Uh, on this episode, I'm going to break down the video that you guys all just saw. I'm going to talk about the challenges that I had to face. I'm going to talk about the what would I've done differently if I had this opportunity again. I'm going to talk about what I learned from this shooting, this, this specific short, I mean commercial. Uh, let's just get into it, I guess. All right, a little backstory for everyone. So I shot this during October or November. I don't remember a specific month, but I asked for a lot of favors. So it was a group of five people and I had to play around with the days because I was producing and directing. Because of that, I had to change the days quite a bit. And also it was raining. The day that I picked was super heavy rain. So I had to pick the day after. One of my BTS photographer couldn't make it, but it is what it is. And I had to change the time because I work nine to five. We have to shoot after five. So I only have like a couple of hours until the field closes down, like the lights turn off, which is 10 p.m. So we went to the first field and it was closed. Uh, for some reason, even though I trained there like literally two days ago, it was closed because it was winter season. So we had to drive another 45 minutes. And by the time we got there, it was already seven. And by the time we set up, it was 8 p.m. So we only had two hours to shoot the whole thing. And I had to like do as much, I get as much a shot as I could. I couldn't like focus on what looks good, what doesn't. I just wanted to get a bunch of shots. So there was a specific shot list that I had to shoot. That's a little backstory. And um, let's just get into it from there. I'm gonna watch it here and explain it step by step, how it went, what I was doing in the specific scenario and shit like that. All right, here we're just setting up. As you guys can see, uh, it's like budget. That's my first AC and uh, the one who's working with a uh, camera. That's me and that's my, he, my friend William, he's actually gripping gaffer, mostly gaffing, but I asked him because we worked together, I asked him to DP for me. Uh, well, camera operate because technically there's no DPing, it's just all the lights. We wanted to add some lights because we brought 600 aperture, 600 C's, and stuff like that, but we couldn't use it because we don't have enough time. And the lighting was actually pretty perfect because uh, of the uh, lights from stadium lights. And yeah, so we're here, just moved all the equipment, all the soccer, soccer equipment. That's my actor and fall. He's warming up because it was like really cold, it was like negative six or maybe negative five, I don't even know. That's all my gear, my camera, my easy rig. And uh, as you can see, like while wearing a jacket, he's out there with a t-shirt and short. I don't know how he did it, but kudos to him. That's my first friend, my, my friend first AC, uh, Praveen. Overall, it was a really cool, everyone's like really nice and uh, we bonded really well, even though these guys never worked with each other. And my friend Daniel is actually taking a BTS video and also a couple of photos. I was freezing my balls off. Just let my hands get cool. Oh, it was going so shit. Now it's going so well. I love it. You like the vibe? So I like the vibe. Mm -hmm. Four? Yo, so, when you walked into the place, it was, it was like locked. Right? locked <laughs> lights were off. It was horrendous. <laughs> this guy was waiting. I'm like, yo, what is this? <laughs> I never. How many times we went there? It's Bro, never the, been a lock. I was there two days ago. The lights were off. That's what I'm saying. The gate was open. They never locked it before. But yeah, guys. So this is our second uh, location. It worked out. That's our camera operator, Ooh. first AC. They don't operate, man. That's our main actor, and Uh The guy behind the camera is Daniel. And yeah, what? This is behind the scenes, so don't worry. I know, I know. Yeah. Fucking hell, yo. <laughs> the pose look nice, though, no? Yeah, it looks. He's <laughs> taking the talent oh, yeah, over there, explaining. What's happening? <laughs> All right, here I'm trying to get my first shot because uh, it's supposed to be a wide shot of him walking. It's uh, literally him walking towards the field. And then from there on, as soon as I got my wide shot, I wanted to get a drone shot as well. And I did it, but it was a different field. I don't know if you guys can tell. It didn't look that good. Um, because this field already closed down because it was a winter time. So after that, I've got my wide shot. I start getting into close-ups. I'm taking off the t-shirt. That's what we're talking about. Like, I want to make sure that like, I get that shot perfectly. First two shots are like always the most, supposed to be most interesting. The thing is when the whole stadium is perfectly lit, so I can't really do much when it comes to lighting, except like putting a, adding a, a, a flag or anything like that. Because I, we brought like a bunch of C stands, bunch of light stands, flags and all that, but we just didn't have time. I only had two hours to film everything. And yeah, from there on, I just got two shots and I went straight to him. He's an actual coach as well, so it kind of helped us set up all the equipment real quick. Also, the Nikos M. Oh, we always had a couple of troubles when it came to like follow focus. I don't know why, but maybe because I was using 18 to 35, was not a cinema lens, so maybe that's why. But we had a couple of 
you know, onset problem. Here we're trying to do the drills and get the perfect shot, but he's messing it up a couple of times. I kind of get it because it's cold and it's not easy, especially with the camera. I asked him to move a specific way because on camera it looks completely different. So if it doesn't move the way how I want it, it doesn't look good. And yeah, it's, it, it is hard, but it is what it is. So I try to get those shots. There's a specific shot I wanted to get when it, he jumps over the camera, but it doesn't, it doesn't look good. Like I, he jumps over the camera and William had to like move the camera up and down like this. Like he jumps over and it looks, follows him. It was really hard to get. We spent probably like 15 minutes on that until we got the perfect one. And when we got it, I got super excited. So yeah, he can hear I got super excited. Here I was trying to get the shot of him following the ball, but it just timing wise was a little off or he was going a little too fast even though I was trying to explain it to him. And uh, with a few other ways as well I'm trying to get it over myself because sometimes as a dp or as a director you're trying to do something in your head but it doesn't go the way how you want it so the best way you do even like the best cinematographers sometimes give the camera to a dp i mean to to a director because sometimes no dp can get what the director is thinking so the best way the best way to tackle that is just give the camera to a director and let him do it. In a, in a way, it's easier for me as a DP as well, or as a director, because if I get that shot, we can move on, you know what I mean? But it's easier for me to just grab the camera and just move on and do it myself than trying to explain it to him back and back, like, hey, do this, do this, do this. And if it doesn't work after five times, let me just do it myself. And that's, that, that's how we felt on that one. And we got it after that, we went to, we did some couple of shooting drills. He, uh, he went through, we're trying to hit the top uh, top bins, which is really hard actually, and especially when it's cold weather and everything windy as fuck. So all that plays a role. But when he hit it, we got super excited, and um, we did a couple of shots from afar. We did a couple of shots from behind the net. We did a couple of shots in front of the side. The more uh, the more options you have in an editing room when it comes to those kind of. Uh, quick cuts, the better it is. So, and this is the last shot when uh, he puts the ball right in, uh, at the, uh, in front of the camera and shoots it. Obviously he can't shoot it because we tried it and he almost hit the camera a couple of times. So with that being said, I, we did a different style. So we did one with like F1.8, F4, and we did one with like F16, where you can see everything. Because there's a bunch of lights in the back, as you can see on the shot, like the main shot on the commercial shot, there's a bunch of lights in the back and it looks so much better when you can see those lights than then when we shot on F1.8 or F4, you like, they're so far away and everything's kind of blurred out. It doesn't look good. Sometimes it looks better when you can actually see the surroundings because it also adds a uh, specific feeling to the shot uh, and it keeps it more interesting. So yeah, pretty much everything for this commercial. All right, that was the end of the clip. And now the three things I want to talk about is first one is probably what was the most challenging part. The most challenging part, for my opinion, was wearing multiple hats. Being a producer, DP and a director is really hard. DPing and directing is a lot of pre-work. You have to make sure like the shots and the lighting and everything is before and on set, obviously you do those things. But as a producer, you have to worry about so many more things. I have to like contact people. You have to make sure like the locations, I have to make sure everyone's nice, everyone's okay with everything. After the uh, shoot, you also have to make sure like everyone is cool, everyone's like full, the stomach is nice, they're warm, they, they got home safe. All that is a headache. And as the, if I could, I would probably contact somebody because I've done a lot of things for free for my friends as well. I'll probably ask someone to help me out with that and be a producer, wear a hat for that for one day. I'm probably gonna do that in future. The second thing that I would do different is probably changing the date. I know I changed it multiple times and I know sometimes you just have to go and shoot it because if you don't, then you're just gonna keep like pushing it away. But I feel like I don't have enough time. I had something else in my head and I wanted to make this commercial much better looking, but I felt like I didn't get that perfect shots that I wanted. I didn't <laughs> add enough contrast. I didn't add enough a lighting from the left and right. Like, I don't know, I wanted to do more things, but those two hours weren't enough. Timing, it's always such a crunch and you never have enough of that. So yeah, it, I probably, if I had an opportunity, I definitely would change it and uh, try out the date where everything works for everybody, especially my uh, myself, because I was really pissed with some of the shots. I could have done way better. The third one is what would I do different? The one thing I would do different is, I know at the beginning of the video, I said that I would rather have more shots than less because it's easier to create and do more th things. But the thing I'll do next time different is probably get less shots that are perfect, that will fit my ideology, that, that way, how I want it. And maybe it'll flow the story completely different. So 
Yeah, I think it's a uh, the, it's something that I would like to try on the next one because I want to do more of these. Hopefully, it will turn out better. If it doesn't, I'll make a video and let you guys go, uh, know as well which one is more ideal, having a perfect couple of shots that will drive the story or having multiple shots that are not the best looking but you can create so many other things with it. That was it, that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. Hopefully you guys liked it, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you guys did, as always, thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs up if you loved it and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Ciao, bye. How are you feeling bro? Cool, feeling bro. good, I like the shots. Yeah, We're moving yeah. slightly fast yeah. but we still have an hour and a half. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get everything done. Um, yeah, we're trying to get, I'm trying to get drone shots as well. Perfect mm -hmm. one, but we'll see. Awesome. All right, um, can you try a run right here? Oh, like that. Hey, you just, saw your, you just called yourself a gaffer. What kind of gaffer are you? That's yeah. a different kind five of Five plus five gaffer. It's <laughs> a different one. <laughs> Doing some slight troubleshooting. The gear slipped. Cool. That's what I did. It happens. But we're good yeah. now. That's the one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's good, it's good, it's good. Cut, cut, cut. That's the one.